Today is a very exciting day. Oh my god, my hair always looks like crazy on camera, but I'm gonna go pick up my cat in a few hours and we're gonna have a new little critter running around our apartment. I've been wanting a cat for a really long time. I think around like, I'll say maybe three, four years, very seriously. And this time I'm actually, you know, going through with the decision and I'm really nervous, but I'm really, really excited to bring home this cat. The last time that I was very serious about adopting a cat, you know, like I went to go visit the kitten, I had the contracts, I actually ordered like everything. And then last minute, I decided not to go through with it because I knew in the near future I would be studying abroad. And like, I just wasn't stable in where I was living. So I, I didn't want to like, be in Europe and I don't have my cat but this time I think I'm pretty secure and like I'm staying in one place and I just think it's time one of the main factors in choosing the breed of cat I want is if they're hypoallergenic or not I was trying to find one that doesn't emit the chemicals or something that gives people allergy just for future purposes like I don't know if Leon's gonna be allergic or myself or like friends my mom's allergic to cats so I just think it's um, a safer bet to go with a hypoallergenic cat and I also don't want like excessive shedding as well oh my god a second factor that went into my decision is if they're good with other animals and children because in the future it's very probable that we're gonna have another animal and children so like that's very important third is i tried to choose a cat that's a little like more mellow like they're not like jumping around everywhere i haven't even mentioned which breed i got but i got a berman cat and they're so 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 cute they're very similar to kind of a ragdoll and siamese he was actually a covid baby he was born in march 2020 so he's a little over a year i'm very excited to have him you know like i facetimed well first of all like i was looking at burmans i was looking at siamese and um another breed that started with a b i forgot i was also looking at Scandinavian cat. So I found like a good cat breeder and I FaceTimed them and saw the cat that I wanted. They actually only have three cats available for adoption. We're actually still trying to figure out what to name the cat. I kind of need to see the cat in person to like decide. I was going to name him Elmo. Just I don't know why Elmo came into my head. Like I think it's really cute, but I'm not so sure he will fit Elmo and my mom hates the name. So we'll see what to name him we were gonna name him hippo um leon got me this hippo stuffed animal this seems like very exaggerated but we're really attached to this stuffed animal so we don't want to name a cat after our stuffed animal that we call hippo <laughs> is he so cute hippo hippo's been in the cat tree just you know waiting for our cat to come home I used to have a list of cat names because I knew I was gonna get a cat like I really wanted to name my cat Bartholomew but he's just not a Bartholomew it's more like the exotic looking cats like where their face is kind of like scary like those cats look like a Bartholomew guys we oh, okay I'm sorry he wants your hand something went wrong please try again we just picked up the cat and we're still deciding on what to name him He's so cute. Beautiful blue eyes. So we just got back home. This is our guest bathroom, so it's bigger. And we're gonna introduce him first here, where his litter box is. Hi. Hi. You wanna come out? He was really good during the whole car ride. I just kept him in my lap, like in the carrier, and pet him. He didn't meow at all. Oh yeah, he's really scared. He's like hiding. He's hiding right here. This is your new home. This is your new home. <laughs> We're still figuring out what to name him. We just think that he's too cute to be named Elmo. 
But we do like the name Elmo, but I don't know. We thought of like Mozart or like Beethoven. Uh, we also thought of Mew Mew. But we have to know what his personality is before we fully decide. I can't believe I have a cat now. Like, it's really so surreal. So he's going to get acquainted. I'm not going to force him any out. And then I'm going to put him in the litter box so he knows. And he's going to stay in this room, which is very spacious. Um, and there's no, like, breakables, really. And, like, this is where his litter box will be permanently. And then I'm going to bring his food and water in here. And then his he has his little cactus over there. Just so he gets accommodated with a smaller amount of space before we allow him to really walk in our living room and stuff is the self-cleaning litter box i got so yeah he needs to get used to this too so cute it's been an hour since we got home and he's still like in his little carrier he won't come out yet you see he's just at the very back of his carrier still Okay, so update on Wolfie. He last night became very comfortable with us and was just like running around. Well, okay, not running around, but like just I was holding him and he was comfortable like, like walking around. We put the tree in the bathroom and everything. So today we're going to let him out into our living room so he can explore this area because we think now he's ready. And he's so cute. I'm honestly obsessed. Oh hi! Oh hi, Wolfie. He might. Okay, he doesn't like the camera. Okay, he really doesn't like the camera. We are back at home. We're gonna do a small unboxing. Um, oh, be careful, Wolfie. This is our scissors. What'd you get? I don't remember, actually. I just wanted him to get more interactive toys. I got him a bunch of other toys, but he didn't really play with them. And I'm just afraid that he's not as active as he should be. So we'll see his reaction. Wolfie! Okay, so first unboxing by Wolfie is this one. Wolfie, what is this? Yong, something, something. Show something. This is called a Ninja Tumbler electric cat toy. Wolfie, are you excited to play with this? He usually just plays with all the Amazon cardboard boxes. All the free shit. So let me figure out how to actually play with this. Here, enjoy Wolfie. Just being a Wolfie. How do I open this? Oh, you got one of those? Do you know this? Yeah, it rolls around by itself. Wait, are you able to open it? You have to align the holes. Wolfie, you have no idea what's to come. So what's very funny is that Wolfie is extremely territorial of his bathroom, which is in our guest bathroom. So every time we use that bathroom or get close, or get close to it, he like low key like freaks out and will run and like guard the door. And like if we're inside, he will just stay like outside until we come out. He's playing with one of the oh. Wolfie! What is that? What? It's like moving. Whoa. Oh my god, that's gonna be so fun, but that's kind of intense. That's really intense. Wait, that's kind of intense. I'm kind of scared. Wait, why is it so intense, guys? <laughs> what does it look like?
play more like before he didn't really play at all and I have this other one that's like a mouse and like if he moves it the mouse squeaks and he's only recently started playing with that a lot more like yesterday throughout the whole night so we hear the mouse noise I think that should occupy him more which makes me like really really happy I also got him some more just to see like which one he likes the best so the next one here is these are all from China so this one is called the Yofun Smart Cat Toy Ball. So this one is also just moves, interactive. I mean, they're all the same. They're all like a moving one. So funny seeing that. It makes me so happy. Cause like he does not play with like, you know, typically you have those like feather ones. He doesn't play with those at all. This one looks like this. And I'm assuming you just Do you want to see this one? <gasps> oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at him! We have to see this one. This one's so funny. When we leave the house, we just turn him on and just look. At him. <laughs> and when he comes back, he's like super tired. That's the one I was looking at. And the thing is like these ones make me feel better because the laser pointer, it makes me feel really, really sad to see him ca like can't catch the laser. And we heard that it gives cats anxiety. So this is a much better option where he can actually, it's tangible, you know? Oh my God, this is fucking hilarious.